A total of 38 protective mats need to be moved in to convert Beijing's Capital Indoor Stadium into an Olympic-level short track speed skating venue. And before each changeover, staff members carefully wipe any impurities off the outer coverings and clean the path between the warehouse and competition area. The cushioning equipment is then lined up for placement based on assigned numbers. The pads used in short track are thicker than those employed for figure skating due to the much higher likelihood of athletes colliding and falling during races and are designed to help prevent injuries. Once the barriers are assembled, yellow straps are attached on the outside to keep them in place and reinforce the shape of the oval with only specifically designated sections utilized when entering and exiting. The main switch takes just half an hour, but the full process can last as long as two hours. A computer system regulates the temperature of the ice, and one expert, who also provided assistance at Pyeongchang 2018, is fully confident that everything will work as intended at Beijing 2022. During the past two test competitions, we have been able to accurately control the temperature of the ice surface. The secret is that we can select several key points, which can determine whether the overall ice temperature is a relatively balanced state. After staging a number of test events and other competitions ahead of the Beijing Winter Olympics, the Capital Indoor Stadium staff can carry out the venue conversion process with ease, but before every switch, all of the departments still take time to compare notes and ensure that there won't be any unexpected problems. Damien Jones, CGTN.